cheapest places to live in the United States. With times the way they are these days, we decided to make this video. Moving to one of the cities listed in today's video could do wonders for your wallet. These are the cities with the lowest cost of living in the country, based on the median gross rent and annual housing costs for mortgage-paying homeowners in each metro area. 10th Ranked, Youngstown, Ohio Youngstown, located halfway between Pittsburgh and Cleveland, is still a victim of the steel industry's demise in the 1970s. However, this Rust Belt city is undergoing a cultural and economic renaissance that blends rich historical tradition with the zeal of a new generation. The area is experiencing a resurgence of business in its once deserted downtown area, including restaurants, bars, galleries, and local shops, while organizations such as the Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation work to strengthen the urban neighborhoods. The region's strong work ethic is contributing to the revival's success. Youngstown residents are friendly, as is typical of most Midwestern cities, and they regularly gather to celebrate their community. Residents enjoy shopping at local farms and Amish markets because the downtown area is surrounded by farmland. Ninth ranked, Peoria, Illinois. When people want to know if something is popular, they may ask, will it play in Peoria? But don't let that old adage fool you. Peoria, Illinois, is anything but boring. This raucous, bruising, sometimes body, and always warm-hearted river town gave the world caterpillar equipment. The comic Richard Pryor, the feminist Betty Friedan, the first televangelist Fulton Sheen, plenty of life-saving penicillin, and pizza-sized pork tenderloin sandwiches. Its economy survived Prohibition and the Rust Belt, and it is now focused on healthcare, autonomous vehicles, agriculture technology, and ecotourism. In this metro area's gentrified urban neighborhoods, along its Riverview Bluff, and in its family-friendly suburban subdivisions, you can get a lot of house for a lot of money. Gritty old warehouses are being transformed into entertainment districts where foodies congregate, live music thrives, and loft apartments proliferate. Stage theater is making a comeback in architecturally significant venues. Every weekend during the summer and fall brings a festival. Bradley basketball is well liked. A vast trail network, park system, and other outdoor amenities entice bikers and boaters, hikers and hunters. Ranked number 8, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Fayetteville, along with Bentonville, Rogers, and Springdale, is located in a rapidly growing region and has transformed from a small town to a center of higher education, culture, commerce, and entrepreneurship. Northwest Arkansas is the birthplace of Walmart, the headquarters of Tyson Foods, and the home of the University of Arkansas, the system's flagship campus. Fayetteville is home to people from all over the world.
Newcomers frequently comment on Fayetteville residents' friendliness. In the street, people wave and smile at each other, and community events are well attended. There are dozens of volunteer organizations and nonprofits to get involved with in the community. Fayetteville, located in the Ozark Mountains, attracts outdoor enthusiasts with its abundance of state parks, acres of community green space, playgrounds, parks, and walking trails. In addition, the metro area has a world-class performing arts center, an active local food movement, live music venues, and a vibrant festival scene. Ranked number 7, Beaumont, Texas. Beaumont, along with neighboring cities Port Arthur and Orange, forms the Golden Triangle of Southeast Texas, a moniker that means business. When oil explorer Anthony Francis Lucas Gusher rained black gold on Spindletop Hill in 1901, it sparked the Texas oil boom. The rest, as they say, is history. Beaumont's treasures are now exploited both within and outside the city limits. Downtown Beaumont has entertainment and cultural venues that feature live music and theater, as well as a museum district that honors the people, history, and love of contemporary art. Exit the city, and Interstate 10 will take you to a world of exciting and diverse opportunities, all within a two-hour drive. A trip west will take you to Houston and all of its attractions. Drive east to Lake Charles, Louisiana, and you'll find Cajun culture and cuisine. A one-hour drive south leads to world-class deep-sea fishing and boating in the Gulf of Mexico for those who enjoy the outdoors and seek adventure. Ranked number 6, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, also known as Blitzburg and Steel City, is on the verge of greater heights. Pittsburgh, which emerged from a dying steel industry, has earned the moniker Reinvention City. Pittsburgh has felt cleaner and more energetic since the steel mills closed in the 1980s. Pittsburgh City Parks cover nearly 2,000 acres of land, and its residents have access to county parks, state parks, and riverfront parks. The area is also attracting major corporations looking to establish themselves. Transplants are surprised to discover a technological and educational hub in the area. A surge in job opportunities has made Pittsburgh an appealing destination for families and recent graduates. Pittsburgh also has a lower cost of living than other major cities. Its old blue-collar reputation is being replaced, and the quality of life is improving as new industries relocate to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh has enticed residents with its strong sense of community, in addition to its ample green space and increased job opportunities. Ranked number 5, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Fort Wayne, Indiana, is an excellent place to buy a house, start a career, start a business, and raise children because of its low cost of living and quiet neighborhoods. Residents of Fort Wayne, a mid-sized metropolitan area in the heart of the Midwest, 
have access to the amenities one would expect to find in a large metropolis, such as excellent entertainment options and a thriving arts scene. Residents are also treated to unusual special events, such as the annual Busker Fest devoted to street performers and the annual bed race held during the Three Rivers Festival. After losing many manufacturing jobs in the 1980s, Fort Wayne fared better than many of its Rust Belt region counterparts. Advanced manufacturing remains important in the region. Manufacturers such as General Motors and BAE Systems have made significant investments in the economy. Fort Wayne is experiencing long-term revitalization, with new housing options and economic development projects centered on downtown and the riverfront. Younger residents who want to live closer to downtown rather than in the suburbs are returning to older neighborhoods, and small shops, trendy restaurants, and breweries are following them. Even so, Fort Wayne is a community steeped in history. Residents work to preserve the history of the area. Fort Wayne has over 360 places of worship, and the farmland northeast of the city proper is home to many Amish communities that live a simple life, devoid of many technological advances. Ranked number 4, Quad Cities, Iowa, Illinois. The Quad Cities area of Iowa and Illinois, which spans two states across the Mississippi River, can appear smaller than it is. The Quad Cities, despite its name, are made up of five cities, Davenport and Bettendorf, Iowa, and Rock Island, Moline, and East Moline, Illinois. Each is unique, but with downtowns clustered along the same riverfront and collaborations in business, service, and the arts, the area provides many of the amenities you'd expect from a larger city. There's a thriving brewery scene, as well as casinos and river cruises. Davenport is Iowa's third largest city on its own. Rock Island's historic downtown features a pedestrian mall and the district, a popular nightlife district. The Quad Cities is the largest metropolitan area between Minneapolis and St. Louis on the Mississippi River, and it is three hours from Chicago and two and a half hours from Des Moines, Iowa. Ranked number three, Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville, once a sleepy farming town, rose to national prominence during the 1960s space race and is now consistently ranked as one of Alabama's fastest-growing metro areas. Previously, the U.S. government relocated a team of German rocket scientists to the area and established a NASA center to design the Saturn V rocket, which sent Apollo astronauts to the moon. Today, Huntsville residents take pride in being a nerdy bunch. The metro area has the most educated population in the state, and due to the presence of NASA and the United States Army's Redstone Arsenal, a large portion of the population works in engineering and defense. In recent years, the city center of Huntsville has undergone a revitalization. A surge in new construction downtown means more shopping, dining, and apartment options.
Just west of downtown, a defunct cotton mill has been transformed into a bustling arts center, and a renovated old middle school has sprouted craft breweries, restaurants, and an axe-throwing venue. Ranked number 2, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Green Bay, home to one of the NFL's most storied football franchises, the Green Bay Packers, has the ideal blend of big city amenities and a Midwestern, small town feel. This city has a thriving entertainment and arts scene, a revitalized downtown, and two college campuses all of which contribute to an energy that may appeal to both young families and retirees. Green Bay is the state's oldest settlement and is located in northeast Wisconsin. The city's heart is at the mouth of the Fox River, and its proximity to the Great Lakes allowed early settlers to profit from the area's waterways. While the city remains a major shipping hub, the Fox River comes alive in the summer with water skiing, riverfront dining, and sunset cruises. The Fox River State Trail, a wooded walking and biking path that runs parallel to the river, is an important part of the Cellcom Green Bay Marathon. Boutique shopping and numerous museums can be found throughout the city and surrounding areas. Green Bay's downtown, the Broadway District, downtown De Pere, and Vickery Village, just north of Green Bay, all have shops selling antiques, home decor, and trendy clothing. Green Bay is a good place to settle down and stay because of its thriving craft beer industry, diverse restaurant options, and proximity to weekend getaway destination Door County. Ranked number 1, Hickory, North Carolina. The Hickory Lenore Morganton area, also known as the Catawba Valley, is a popular retirement and family destination and it is also becoming a popular destination for young professionals. The region is beginning to see growth from Charlotte, which is only an hour south of Hickory, as well as influence from beer and art-loving Asheville, which is only an hour west into the mountains. With expansion on the horizon, new businesses such as restaurants, retail stores, and bars are springing up. The area's history is steeped in furniture, hosiery, and textiles, and it is the birthplace of brands such as Broyhill and Bernhard. The area's industry has now expanded beyond its roots into new technologies and data. Both Google and Apple have data centers in the area. The region also has strong artistic roots. Sculptures by local and regional artists abound, and each town has an art gallery. There you have the 10 cheapest places to live in the United States. Let us know what you think in the comments and stay tuned for the next video from Fun Facts Galore.